Grammar on the move. Relative clauses. So we've looked at three places so far. I really liked the house, which was at the end of that quiet street. What did you think? Yeah, that was nice. The people who lived next door seemed a little noisy, though. They were playing lots of loud music. I'm not sure I want to live with neighbours that are like that. I can understand that. I really liked the place we saw when we were coming back home on Tuesday. I know some people living there whose brother went to my school. Did you like it? It was okay. I actually liked the one in the busier part of town. The town centre, where I used to live, is my favourite part of town. That's the reason why I'd prefer to move there. It does seem a good location. I'd prefer to live in a place that I knew more about too. Look at these sentences. I really liked the house which was at the end of that quiet street. The people who live next door seemed a little noisy though. I'm not sure I want to live with neighbours that are like that. I really liked the place we saw when we were coming back home from work on Tuesday. I know some people living there whose brother went to my school, and so I know the area quite well. That's the reason why I'd prefer to move there. Relative clauses are used to link different pieces of information in one sentence. Defining relative clauses give us essential information which tells us exactly which person or thing we are referring to. Non-defining relative clauses give us extra non-essential information. The sentence still makes sense without this relative clause. Relative pronouns are used with relative clauses. Use these relative pronouns to introduce relative clauses. Who refers to people. Which refers to things. That can refer to people or things. Whose refers to possession or relationships. Where refers to places. When refers to times. Why refers to reasons or explanations. We do not use commas for defining relative clauses. This is for essential information. But we do use commas for non-defining clauses. In other words, for extra information. We can use a number of pronouns to introduce a relative clause. We can use that instead of who or which for defining relative clauses. We can't use that for non-defining relative clauses. While we can leave out the relative pronoun if it is the object of the defining relative clause, we cannot do so for the non-defining ones. Grammar on the move.